It's the Shatkin First Down pregame show presented by Northtown Automotive with your host, Rich Gensler, featuring Jared Shatkin, and our special guest, Buffalo Bills alum, Scott Chandler. Now, from Sorrentino's in Williamsville, here's your host, Rich Gensler. Welcome to the Shatkin First Down Buffalo pregame show. I'm Rich Gensler, Main Street in Sorrentino's, brought to you by our friends at Northtown Automotive. What a jam-packed show we have for you. It's been a little bit since the Bills played, so we'll recap the Saints win. We'll, of course, look forward to the playoff game before the playoffs. The Bills and the Patriots on Monday Night Football. Scott Chandler, who played for both teams, tight end, will join us as our Bills guest. We'll have the members of the Mafia here in the huddle, and we'll also do some Tino's dough, give away some Sorrentino's gift card with some Bills Patriots trivia as well. But let's go back to the Saints game with Jared Shatkin. Jared, welcome back. Let's talk about the Saints game. Obviously, a game where, you know, the game started a little bit slow, 10 0 in the first half, but they ended up winning 31 6. Offense was good. Josh had four touchdown passes, but this was a game that they should have won, and for that reason, they ended up doing their job, right? Yeah, absolutely. You have to beat a team that's beat up like this. They didn't have Alvin Kamara. They didn't have their starting quarterback. Winston is hurt. They, they're on a, they were a team that looks like a third string team. And to go in there and beat them up like that, you kind of have to expect that. And especially if you're a team in this league that's supposed to go into the playoffs and further, you have to beat a team like the Saints like that. Uh, some good things that happened from the game. Only four penalties for the Bills, which was terrific. Oddly enough, the Bills lost uh, the giveaway takeaway. They only had one takeaway. Two, of course, Josh's two giveaways uh, in terms of the picks. But I wasn't all riled up about Josh's picks. In fact, I thought the one, you know, he got his arm hit when he threw the ball. The other one was a, a choice route, right? Diggs went out instead of in. That's one of those decisions that, you know, you make it and you hope that the chemistry is there between the two, right? Yeah, I mean, also, if you have a quarterback that's a gunslinger like that, you got to live and die with the, the interceptions because the, there's more good than bad. And there was a lot more good than bad out of Josh Allen in that game. So, uh, no, you're not worried that he throws two picks because he comes back the next half and he throws three touchdowns. Absolutely. Diggs was terrific. That touchdown route was one that's going to be watched for a very long time. He made a very good cornerback, and Lattimore looked bad. And then I love the play design. When Josh is rolling right and he sucks the defenders up to him, he leaves Dawson Knox wide open for one of two touchdowns. Talk about the Bills' offense in that respect. And that's a dagger right there, right? It's fourth down. The Saints are trying to stop us, and Josh just calmly goes back there, lofts the ball up to Knox, and Knox makes a play and gets in the end zone for the second time. That right there sent a lot of the Saints fans out of the building. Brita, of course, on the outside of the screen that ran for the touchdown looked great. The run game was good. Good balance, 32 rushes to 28 passes. I like that. Absolutely. we got to keep the running game going. I think we found something good with Brita and Singletary there. They both looked like they were they were running solid last week, opening up the play-action pass. So. You know, it's, it's good to find your identity at this point in the season, and I just hope it carries on the rest of the year. For sure, and they won on a short week, which is important as well. They've had a long time to prepare for this Patriot game. We'll get into that in the final segment. Jared, we'll see you in a little bit. Scott Chandler, former Bill tight end, joins us next on the Shaq and First Down Buffalo pregame show. Finding the perfect used car can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. At Northtown, we make it simple with a focus on certified pre-owned. When you see the certified symbol from the official vehicle manufacturer, you know the vehicle has passed a rigorous inspection and comes with extra benefits like a manufacturer warranty and roadside assistance. To find the best value and peace of mind, head to Northtown. Northtown Certified Vehicles. An official partner of the Buffalo Bills. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin here with Hall of Fame running back Thurman Thomas. My family and I have been coming to Dr. Shatkin's dental office for years. The office is beautiful and the staff is outstanding. Thanks, Thurman. It's been an honor for me to take care of you and your family. For a Hall of Fame smile, go where the pros go. Dr. Todd Shatkin at the Aesthetic Associate Center. Call today for a free consultation, 839-1700. Your kitchen is the heart of your home, so make it what you've always wanted. Empire Granite Marble Quartz has everything you need to start your kitchen countertop makeover, all within your budget. Offering 24 months, 0% financing for a limited time, Empire has the largest indoor full slab showroom in western New York. So visit the showroom today. Make your dreams a reality with luxury you can afford.
welcome back to the Shack and first down Buffalo pregame show joined now by a good friend of the program we haven't seen in a long time uh, but he spent his most successful years in the NFL right here in Buffalo and finished his career in New England of course we're building up to that game on Monday night our good pal former 84 for the Bills tight end Scott Chandler joins us on the road Scott great to see you man how are you I'm doing well, Bo. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Let's talk about your time in Buffalo. Obviously, your most productive years, five years spent here in Buffalo as a Bill. We know, obviously, those were part of the drought years, but they were productive for you, man. 45-ish catches a year. You had 17 touchdowns over those five years. Talk about your time in Buffalo and all the things that you enjoyed about being a Bill. Uh, I think, first and foremost, the thing that my wife and I still talk about is the people. The I mean, the fans in Buffalo and the city, is it's just one of those places that uh, you, you don't know about it until you're there and you're there and you're, man, it is a special, special place. And uh, I'm so happy that th these fans are getting to experience some success. I look back on that time as, you know, just some of the, some of the greatest memories uh, that I'm going to have. And uh, definitely my greatest memories in the NFL. For sure, man. It was a really fun locker room to cover and it was great to, to, to meet you and kind of be a part of it and travel with you guys on the road for a bunch of years. It was, it was really fun. You were part of a really great group here in Buffalo that I know people, even though you weren't playoff teams, they still appreciate to this day. And that's part of the reason why you're going to come back and, and lead that charge uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, obviously you end your career in new England as a Patriot, uh, you go there, you, you catch four from the goat. Uh, what was it like going there by that time? Uh, you know, by the time you had gotten there, they had established themselves as winners. Obviously you, you had played them obviously many times over the years. Uh, so you go there, there's Brady, there's Belichick. What having been there for your one year, were the expectations different? Did they operate different? What makes them and made them so special? Well, I think all of those things were were things that when I went there, it was the organization has continuity. There is a clear chain of command. Uh, your role is defined extremely clearly for you. Uh, the off-season program is harder, more intense. Uh, you know, you're when you get into training camp, you know, after practice, you're not just, you know, going back into the locker room. Like, I mean, Tom was keeping you somebody you know was usually one or two guys he's keeping you after for for a while and you know you're going to run and run and run and I think for guys that are there for a long time that really tends to wear them out and it is very business-like and you know the the relationship with especially you know the head coach is very business-like and he's real Bill's really honest really upfront. you always know where you're at you always know where you stand, but there's not much personal relationship. And I think that guys that are there for a long time end up, uh, you know, almost resenting that. I don't know if resents the right word, but they, you know, they wish that was there. Um, for me, I had come from Buffalo where we'd kind of had some, you know, coaching turmoil, you know, Marone had just uh, headed down to, to headed out uh, for, you know, he got his, his money and left, which, you know, I, I think at the time, uh, was surprising for sure. But, you know, looking back, you know, he and I don't think he and the front office were on the same page at all. And so to go there and have just complete continuity and everybody understands their job, comes to work, ready to work hard and is working towards one goal. It was kind of a, a breath of fresh air. And I know Bills fans hate to hear that. And honestly, I, you know, I wasn't looking to go to New England, first of all. Um, you know, they offered me the most money and uh, the, the best role, I thought, for myself. And, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't uh, look back on that time, you know, as a, a bad time. I mean, it, I learned a ton. My body just was breaking down, really. My knee was was getting pretty bad. And I think that's probably ended up, that probably ended up being why the bills cut me in the first place. Um, but, man, I, you know, I went there and I learned so much and. Like, it was almost like I wish I would have gone there earlier in my career and then gone to a place like Buffalo where I could have had a little better perspective on maybe, hey, these are the kind of things we need to do. And maybe I would have been able to be a better leader there, honestly. Um, but, you know, I, I think that what the Patriots and Bill do well, or, you know, he's, he's incredibly smart. He would tell you what was going to happen in the game and then it would happen in the game. And like, I mean, he felt like he was clairvoyant at times, you know. Um, 
but man, I, I really, really like what the Bills have done since I left there, you know, just getting Sean McDermott and, uh, you know, Brandon in there. And, and they, those guys have, have such continuity. They have the same vision and everything that they do seems to, you know, be along the lines. There's nothing that happens out of the blue with the Bills, you know, like everything seems to make sense now. And, uh, man, they're so much fun to watch. I love watching Josh and Stefan and, uh, and watching Micah and, and Poyer get after it in the secondary. And, uh, you know, you, you've got some playmakers all over the field. Obviously, Dawson just broke the tight end t- <laughs> touchdown record last last week. And, you know, you missed like three weeks of the season and what we're in week 12. Now, we won't talk about the asterisk uh, 17 game season. You know, he's got that extra game to get the record that I didn't have. No, we're not going to talk about that. No, but, uh, you know, he's he's obviously a dynamic guy in the red zone. And, uh, man, they're just so fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, speaking of tight ends, you know, obviously you just mentioned Dawson and the, the Patriots have been, you know, Mac Jones has been using Henry and Johnny Smith more and more and more in their game plans going forward. And they have been on an incredible run, six straight wins. I think they're six and one in the conference going into this game and the bills since the bye, we know have been kind of up and down and topsy turvy, even though the bills are home on Monday night and favored should be a great game. I mean, what do you make of it? Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be a, you know, a game where you got to take care of the ball for sure, because uh, that's one thing that they're they're going to harp on, and then situational football will be huge. You know, getting touchdowns in the red zone, converting third downs, all of those plays that kind of fall uh, that that you don't always notice uh, from a macro level, but when you when you break down the game into these micro situations, these you know these four point plays is what we called them in New England, where you know if we can get out of we we can get a touchdown out of a drive instead of a field goal. You know, all of those little things matter. And, uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a tight game. I, I just don't see one of these teams running away with it. You know, I think that the, co- the competition level is going to be high. And it, I mean, where else would you rather be than, you know, Bills Patriots Monday night in, in Buffalo? We really appreciate you coming on, man. Love to see you. Can't wait to see you here for the Panther game in a couple of weeks. Um, drive safe, obviously. <laughs> and, yep. uh, and and we'll talk soon. man. I appreciate you doing this. All right. Thanks, Bull. Go Bills. Go Bills. On sirloin, on filet, on ribeye and away. A gift certificate in every stocking, a steak under every tree. Oh, oh, oh. And I heard him exclaim, Ed's a sleigh up the saw. Merry Christmas to all from Russell's Steaks, Chops and More. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. Finding the perfect used car can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. At Northtown, we make it simple with a focus on certified pre-owned. When you see the certified symbol from the official vehicle manufacturer, you know the vehicle has passed a rigorous inspection and comes with extra benefits like a manufacturer warranty and roadside assistance. To find the best value and peace of mind, head to Northtown. Northtown Certified Vehicles. An official partner of the Buffalo Bills. Welcome back to the Shack and First Down Buffalo pregame show. I'm Rich Gensler, Sorrentino's Main Street in Williamsville with members of the Mafia and all with football backgrounds. We got Sam, we got Greg, we got Jake, we got Kevin. Sam's a pro quarterback in the Arena League, right, Sam? Yes, sir. Awesome. What team would you most recently play for? Uh, I played for the Carolina Cobras last season. And this season, what uh, what, are, what are we thinking? Season, Who are you going to get drafted by? What's this season's happening? up in the air. We, we, I don't know yet. Talking to my agent, trying to figure some things out. Okay. Well, you're going to get back at it? Yes, sir. Awesome. How difficult and different is it playing basically at a hockey rink compared uh, to an open 100-yard football field? It's, uh, it's a it's a much, much different game. It's 8-on-8 eight eight instead of 11-on-11. 11 11. It moves a lot faster, so it's... It was a lot. Took a lot of getting used to, but but it was a lot of fun. Greg, you uh, played some little league and also coached some little league in Clarence, right? Coached the Clarence Vikings, yeah. Awesome. For three years. Coach of the year, all three years, right? Uh, well, not coach of the year, <laughs> but we, 
We had a rough season on the, my first year, but the second year we took second place in the division, So, and then we went forward from there, so it was pretty good. Good for you. You're all Bills geared out. Now, I don't know what 22 that is. It could be Freddie, could be Clements, it's could Jackson. be Breida. It's Freddie? Okay, just checking. Just checking. Uh, Jake's here from Northtown Automotive, who's our premier sponsor. Thank you for being part of the show. Thank you for And you played center in school. I did. Uh, Canisius High School, played a little center my uh, freshman year. A little short, short-lived short football career, but uh, <laughs> certainly wasn't going to go much further as a center at, at this size, but it, it was a good time. I enjoyed it. And Kevin, you played O-line. You were all Western New York. Went on to play some college football did, at uh, Gannon University. Yep, proud Billy Goat. Played right down the street at Williamsville South, and then uh, played at Gannon University in Erie, PA, and uh, got to play some offensive line there. It was great experience okay so let's just go kind of around the table i'll start with you with your offensive line prowess and your experience um talk about the old line we get feliciano we think back on monday night we get spencer brown back and what do the bills have to do with that line against this patriot defense you know what our protection recently uh when it comes down to pressure specifically has been on the poorer side unfortunately um you know picking up blitzes has been not our strongest point either but Last week we did a lot better with that. Josh is doing a great job getting rid of the ball, but you know I think we need to just make sure that uh, you know our front three specifically are playing tight, communicating because the minute we don't, you know we're we're letting up a lot of pressure. So um, I think we just need to really keep our head on a swivel and make sure we're keeping our head down. You know, we, we talked as we were getting set up for this about running things to the outside, right? I mean, Breed has been fantastic on the outside. And getting Isaiah McKenzie maybe involved, Greg, I mean, talk a little bit about what yeah. you think needs to happen with him. Well, they got to bring back, the, bring back that jet sweep that they were running just to keep the defense honest, keep them posted in their positions where they're supposed to be. I think that'll open it up for Breida up the middle, but it'll also open up for Josh, throwing him outside and uh, keeping, uh, again, keeping that defense from just pinning their ears back and coming after. And Jake, you like the idea of putting Isaiah in motion, a lot of motion in this game. Yeah, I, I definitely do. I think over the time we've seen a, a history of, of big plays come from him, um, You know, whether it be in the playoff game where he threw the pass or a couple years ago in Tennessee, he actually took a jet sweep in a, in a game that was low scoring. He took it for like 40 yards. Just a, just another play to have in the arsenal, um, you know, really, like you said, to keep, keep him honest. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I'm liking the outside runs more, um, you know, they, they give some uh, some opportunities for Breida to also get involved too if you're motioning across. So uh, definitely get them to the outside. I really, you know, like where uh, where we're headed the last couple of weeks. Sure. So. All right. Plus the offensive line is healthy again. We got yeah. Brown back, yeah. Feliciano, yep. Dawkins picks it up from where he was. I mean, this could be and, a good and, game. And they're not road grading offensive linemen. These guys are mobile athletic guys, right? So let's get a quick score prediction. Sam, you go first. I'm going to go... 27-21 Bills. Okay, Greg? I got 27-10. Jake? I got 24 to 20 Bills. Kevin? I got 31-17 Buffalo. Okay. I like it. I'll give my score prediction next second. I'm not going to blow it here. Uh, right. uh, Kevin, I know you want to very quickly to uh, talk to us a little bit about yes, a, a project you have going on for the holidays. Um, yeah, so my wife and her sisters, um, it's a great opportunity to help a lot of Western New York families. So Be a Blessing Buffalo is the name of the organization and non-for-profit. Um, and it's taking any family that really doesn't have, you know, everything that they need in order to make a great holiday season for their family, their kids, um, even the homeless population here in Buffalo, you know, they take care of everything. So if anyone needs help, you know, supplying gifts for their family for the holiday season, please search on Facebook or Instagram, Be a Blessing Buffalo. Um, we're taking in Christmas lists uh, to help hundreds. Uh, last year we helped probably around 100 families and this year with our corporate sponsorships and everything you know we have the ability to help close to 500 families That's so awesome. That's um, awesome. it's be a great a opportunity buffalo. yeah be a blessing buffalo Fantastic. so any, any support will put a huge smile on a lot of people's faces all right that's awesome uh two minute drill time time for tino's dough guys Trivia questions about the Bills Patriots series, okay? First one's up for 10 bucks. You can all chime in if you think you know the answer. Not many highlights, obviously, in the last 20 years of the Bills Patriots series. Uh, in fact, since 2001, the Bills have only won six times. In September of 2011, the Bills won 34 31. What defensive backs pick six made the cover of Sports Illustrated? Jordan. Uh, Drayton Florence. That's correct for 10 bucks. For 25. Well done. September 2003, 31 0. Bills win. What defensive lineman's pick six? Samuel Adams. Adams. Sam Adams. <clears throat> Question number three. The Bills against Bill Belichick as a head coach. Of course, they've only beaten him, as I mentioned, six times with the Patriots. They only played the Bills, did 
Cleveland once with Bill Belichick as the head coach. The Bills won that game, 22-19, eight seconds left. Field goal by who? Which Bills kicker what year was won that? the game, 1995? Chris, I, 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 I name out there. Or, uh, I got to go. Go with, with your gut. I got to go with Christie. Yeah, born in 96, I can't. Yeah, I'm going to go with Steve Christie. You're all right for $50, yeah. hey, guys. Beautiful. Congratulations. Oh, Here is your Tito's dough. Let's pass it out to everybody. Well done, guys. Thank you. Well oh, done. Lovely. And thanks for being part Thank of the you. huddle. Yeah. And again, one more time. For uh, your, your cause. Yeah, please. Be a bl blessing, Buffalo. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity to help local Western New Yorkers, both single families as well as the homeless population. Um, you know, be a part of it. It's, it's a great opportunity. Absolutely. All right. We come back at Sorrentino's with more of the Shack and First Down Buffalo pregame show. Jared Shack and rejoins with a look at the Monday Nighter coming up next. I am so happy with my experience that I had at I Smile Spas today. Got my teeth professionally whitened. I have months of results in less than an hour. No pain, seriously not even a sting. They're not sensitive. You leave with a kit to continue your whitening. Absolutely incredible. I am so happy I ever did this. I can't stop smiling. Western New York, smile again with confidence. Call 43SMILE today. Family is the most important to us uh, above everything else. 34 Group is a general construction company. We had a part in rebuilding the community. We choose Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York because they are reliable. It's just great coverage and we have a great relationship with the folks at Highmark. We want our legacy to just be that we were good people that loved our community. <laughs> it is definitely a love affair, I can tell you that right now. Finding the perfect used car can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. At Northtown, we make it simple with a focus on certified pre-owned. When you see the certified symbol from the official vehicle manufacturer, you know the vehicle has passed a rigorous inspection and comes with extra benefits like a manufacturer warranty and roadside assistance. To find the best value and peace of mind, head to Northtown. Northtown Certified Vehicles. An official partner of the Buffalo Bills. Hi, I'm Todd Shatkin here with this week's Injury Report. The Bills, for the most part, are in good shape for this big Monday night all-hands-on-deck battle versus the Patriots. We did suffer a big loss with cornerback Trey White going down during the Thanksgiving Day victory over the Saints with a season-ending ACL injury. Fullback Reggie Gilliam is questionable with an ankle injury. He may be a game-time decision. Otherwise, we're in good shape. Staying healthy for the rest of the season will determine who finishes in the top spot in our division. And brushing your teeth daily will also keep you looking your best for all those holiday photos. Let's go Buffalo. Back to you Rich and Jared. Thank you, Todd. Welcome back to the Shack and First Down Buffalo pregame show. Speaking of injuries, good to get Spencer Brown back, Star Latule back, also John Feliciano. We're going to talk about those guys here in a second as we bring you up to the Bills and Patriots at Highmark. Monday Night Football, the playoff game before the playoffs, if you will. Such an important game for the Bills. Not only is it a divisional home game, but Jared, he joins us again, Jared Chacken. Uh, this is an important game because you've got to slow New England's roll, right? I mean, they've won six straight. They're incredible in the conference at 6-1. and one. The Bills have got to slow this Patriots team down, and it starts tonight. Yeah, the, the Patriots are playing some awesome football right now. It definitely is a dagger to the heart, the fact that they're playing awesome football again, even though they don't have Tom Brady anymore. But um, you know what? This is, this is what we're made for. This is why we built a team in the offseason. We, we draft guys like Greg Rousseau. We have Trey Edmonds. we got a defensive line. This is their time to play. For sure. And let's talk about the defense against Mac Jones, who everyone is talking about, going to be the rookie of the year. How do you make them one-dimensional and put all the pressure on that rookie quarterback? It starts by having Star Latulia back to fill the gaps and for the, for the linebackers to go back there and see the running game going and make some good plays. But the way you make them run dimension, one-dimensional is you get after the passer and you get a you get a big lead quickly, you know. So it's on the offense to get a big lead, and it, it doesn't it, not a big lead. I mean, you're not going to go out and blow this team out, but at least play some efficient offense and get up 
to get up to the point where they have to throw. For sure. Run game, balance. We talked about that in the Saints game. Let's replicate that against the Patriots. But again, you got to stop Harrison Stevenson. Their run game's been terrific. You mentioned Star Latulale and Ad Oliver and Edmonds. They got to stop that run game, force Mac Jones into a throwing situation. And with that, with Trey White out and Dane Jackson in, they have got to develop a pass rush and get after Mac Jones in this game. Rousseau and Hughes have to be on their game this week. Rousseau started hot and he's been slowing down a little bit since, but I think this is his time to use his leverage and play a good game. They got a good left tackle in Trent Brown and they got a big line, but you know, Oliver has been awesome this year. And if we can have all our guys healthy, I think we can really get after him. Spencer Brown, right tackle, going to be probably matched up a lot against Matthew Judon, uh, arguably the best pass rusher for the Patriots. That's going to be a matchup. Everybody's going to watch. Judon's been having an unbelievable year. Um, Spencer Brown has to play the, one of the best games of his career because this is a playoff game. I mean, don't get it twisted. This is the biggest game of the year so far. So everyone has to step up and everyone has to be locked in. You got to talk about defending the house, right? The Bills are the AFC East defending champions. They have to prove to people they are still champions and not that paper tiger. And they do that with a physical mentality in this game and win the lines of scrimmage, right? For sure. I mean, you saw that Colts game. We got out physical so bad and it was almost embarrassing. We have to do pretty much the opposite of what we did in that Colts game. We have to come out hitting, excited. The crowd's got to get into it. Um, it's a Monday night game, so I don't think there'll be any issue with that. It, it just it has to be a physical atmosphere in Buffalo on Monday night. And I think the Bills defense has to come back and round themselves into form in terms of takeaways in this game. And Josh has to be careful with the football as well because we know the Patriots on both sides of the, of, of the ball and certainly in special teams, all three phases are so well coached. Yeah, Belichick is doing one of his best jobs since he became the coach of the Patriots, and that's saying something since he has, what, seven Super Bowl victories. I mean, this is – he's doing a great job coaching. So Josh has to be very careful with the football. Um, since Josh came in as a rookie, he's had some pretty good games versus the Patriots, and he's he's been smart with the ball. So I'm pretty confident he's going to do the same this week. All right, throw out your score prediction for uh, Monday Night Football. Bills, Pats, Jared. I mean, this – this is going to be a close game. It's pretty much a coin flip, but the Buffalo Bills fan of me is going to go with Buffalo 27-24. All right, I'll take Bills 27-23. Jared, great job again. Thanks for being here as part of the show. This has been the Shatkin First Down Buffalo pregame show. Got to thank Todd Shatkin. Got to thank our Mafia members in the huddle. Got to thank Sorrentinos on Main Street in Williamsville, Northtown Automotive as well, and, of course, our Bills guest, Scott Chandler, today as well. Go Bills! Let's get a win tonight against the Patriots at Highmark Stadium. Thanks for watching. This has been the Shatkin First Down Buffalo pregame show. If you would like to be a participant in the Shatkin First Down Huddle, email Mark Ahrens at mahrens at shatkinfirst.com. This has been a production of the Shatkin Sports Network.